Overnight, word that a Canadian aircraft has detected underwater noises in the search for the Titan submersible missing since Sunday on a dive to the wreckage of the Titanic. But despite the underwater noises, the Coast Guard says a search yielded no results. The Navy is now sending experts and equipment that can lift up to 60,000 pounds, designed for recovering large undersea objects in the event the sub is located. But if the crew is trapped on the ocean floor, they're facing extreme conditions. 12,500 feet below the surface is not a place that humans were ever meant to be. And everything conspires to kill you down there when you consider it that the pressure. The Coast Guard has released video from inside its operations center, also showing the search pattern. As of Tuesday night, crews had covered 7,600 square miles. There's still a chance the sub is able to float to the surface on its own, but the crew would still be trapped. ABC's Gio Benitez is in Nova Scotia monitoring the search. The Titan is actually bolted shut from the outside, and that's part of the concern here. Rescuers would have to first locate the vessel and physically remove the crew before oxygen runs out. The five on board only have about one day's worth of oxygen remaining. Robots are also being used. These are unmanned underwater robots that could be sent to the bottom uh, to investigate and try and locate uh, the submersible. Back in 2018, industry experts expressed concern about the Titan sub in a letter addressed to Stockton Rush, the CEO of OceanGate, which operates the sub. In that letter, obtained by the New York Times and later authenticated by ABC News, the Marine Technology Society warned of potentially catastrophic problems with the Titan's development that could have serious consequences. The group insisted on oversight from a third-party organization. There's been a lot of headlines calling this a tourist sub. This is not a tourist sub. It must be understood this is an experimental craft and that there are significant risks attached to it. Kemper says after the letter was leaked, OceanGate CEO made changes. He made it more clear that it's an expeditionary or a experimental craft. Meanwhile, many observers have been surprised to learn the vessel is steered using a video game controller, but that does not concern experts. Few people are aware of is that the unit U.S. military has happily embraced this kind of technology, we are operating drones, we are firing lasers, we are even operating periscopes on U.S. Navy submarines using similar technology. The extent of OceanGate's partnerships also coming into question. NASA and the University of Washington both released statements saying they worked with OceanGate as consultants but were not involved in testing the Titan. This as families hold on to hope. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.